So there was a slight oversight on my part in a previous video when we created our delete method. So when we delete a user, it doesn't delete the roles as well. Now this doesn't really have an effect on the application, but it's probably best practice we clean up the uh, relationship after a user is deleted. So if we take a look here, we have a user of an ID of four. So if we just have a look at that in the database, so we can see we have a user of four, and then in the role user table, we can see user ID of four has a role ID of three. So if we now delete this user here, we can see the user has been deleted. And if we come back over to our database, we refresh our users table, we can see the user has now been deleted, but in role users, the user ID and the relationship still exists. So let's clean that up. So if you head over to app, HTTP, controllers, admin, user controller. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could set a foreign key constraint for it to cascade and your database engine will take care of it for you. But we're going to take a software approach to this and delete the roles just before we delete the user. So we need to come down to our destroy method and make a slight change to this. So we're going to get the user that we're trying to delete. So it's user find and give it the ID. And then we can say if there is a user with that ID. So this gives us some extra protection if someone tries to delete a user that doesn't exist. So if there is a user, we can say user and then call our roles relationship. And then there's a couple of ways we can actually do this. So we could copy our update method and call the sync and we can pass it an empty array and that will remove them all. But we could also call a method called detach. So if we call detach on this, that will also remove the relationship from the roles underscore user table. So after we've deleted the relationship, we can now continue on and call delete on the user. I notice here we're calling delete rather than destroy like we did in our old code. So now after they've been deleted, we can return back to the user's index page in the admin panel with the success message. Now under here, if there isn't a user, we still redirect back to the admin user's index. But instead of success, we want to send a warning and we can say this user cannot be deleted. So let's test this out. So over in our browser, we have a user here with an ID of five. So let's take a look at that in the database. So we can see that user here and in the roles user table and in the role user table, we have a user ID of five and they also have a role ID of three. So let's delete that user. And we can see that user has been deleted. Let's refresh the database. We can see the user's gone and over in our role user table, the relationship has also gone.